to Math with Miss Sheehan. Today we're going to be doing a bar graph all about bugs. Bugs and insects. So grab your learn book. We are going to be on page 153 today. I'm going to do the first one with you, the first side, and then you're going to do the second page by yourself, okay? So it says on number one, complete the bar graph using the table with the types of bugs Alice collected in the park. Then answer the following question. So you're gonna need to look up at that table to put that information down below into your bar graph. So if you wanna just pause this for a second so you can fill in yours, I'm gonna show you what mine looks like in just a minute, okay? So why don't you pause it and then press play when you are ready to join with me, okay? All right, so this is what my finished bar graph looks like. As you can see, I have the title, types of bugs, and I have butterflies, spiders, bees, and grasshoppers. And then I added in my numbers down below, and I drew um, the different amounts. So that butterflies has five, spiders has 14, bees have 12, and grasshoppers have seven. Okay, now we're gonna answer some questions about it. So. I'm gonna look at letter A. It says, how many butterflies were counted in the park? I'm gonna go right to the butterflies and say, oh, how many did I have there? Five, right? Dun, 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 dun. Letter B, how many more bees than grasshoppers were counted in the park? So you are gonna be comparing bees, 12, and grasshoppers, which is seven. What is 12 minus seven? Five is correct. Letter C, which bug was counted twice as many times as grasshoppers? Okay, so let's see, grasshoppers was seven. What is seven plus seven? That answer is 14, right? It's a doubles fact. I wonder which one of them is 14. What would you say? Spiders, right? 14. You can put that on letter C. Remember, if I'm ever going too fast, just pause me. Then it says, letter D, how many bugs did Alice count in the park? Okay, so you're gonna have to add up all of these babies together, okay? So we're gonna add butterflies, which was five, spiders, which was 14, bees, which was 12, and grasshoppers, which was seven. So take a minute, add some of those together. If you want to break it apart, you can add two together first. And then I'll give you just a minute to see what you got. I did 14 plus 12 plus seven plus five. And I got 38. Is that what you got? Awesome work. All right, last one. It says, how many fewer butterflies than bees and grasshoppers were counted in the park? So this is kind of a multi-step problem, right? So it says, how many fewer butterflies? So I'm gonna look at the butterflies first and I'm gonna think, hmm, how many were there? Five, right? So lock that in your mind, five, maybe write it down. And then I have to compare it with my bees and grasshoppers. So bees and grasshoppers, bees was 12, grasshoppers was seven. What's 12 plus seven? 19, right? And then I'm gonna take 19 minus five, and what would I get? 14, nice work, awesome. So now that you're done with page 153, you can flip it over to page 154, and you're gonna try doing this one on your own. It's talking about farm animals. You're gonna make your bar graph here from the table on the top, and then you're gonna answer a few questions down below, okay? If you're ever wondering, did I get this right? You can always check the answers on Schoology. I have all of the answers in case you're wanting to know them, okay? Then we're gonna skip page 155. You can always do it if you'd like a little challenge, and we are gonna skip 157 and we're gonna go right to page 159. This is our problem solver for today. 
it says Rita has 19 more pennies than Carlos. Bummer, Carlos. Rita has 27 pennies. How many pennies does Carlos have? So if she has 19 more and she has 27, what do you think we're going to do here? Are we going to add or subtract? We are going to find the difference, subtracting. So make sure your, your number on the top is 27 because that's a big number. 19 is on the bottom. See if you can subtract. And like I said, if you have any questions, you can always check the answers on Schoology. After you're done, you can do Freckle, Zern, or Extra Math. And we'll see you back again tomorrow.